In this video, we'll answer the question whether CuNO32, that's copper 2 nitrate here, is an electrolyte or a non-electrolyte. So in our definition here, an electrolyte, that's a substance that dissolves in water or another polar solvent, produces ions. And these ions, they allow the solution to conduct electricity. So that's an electrolyte. For copper 2 nitrate, we note that copper here, this is a metal, and the nitrate, that's a group of non-metals. So this will be an ionic compound. So if it dissolves, if it's soluble, it could produce ions. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates, this NO3 here, are very soluble. So this will dissolve and dissociate into its ions. We'll get the nitrate ion, that's NO3, and you just need to memorize it has a one minus ionic charge. And actually we get two of those, and then the copper, this is a transition metal. So we don't know the charge, but since the nitrate, that's that one minus, and we have two of them, has to be two plus. So we'll get the copper two ion as well. And these ions are dissolved in water. So let's put a little AQ after them, aqueous, dissolved in water there. So since we have these ions formed, we have copper two nitrate, it dissolves in water, and it produces these ions right here that allow the solution to conduct electricity. This is considered an electrolyte. In fact, it's a strong electrolyte because this copper two nitrate is soluble and it breaks completely apart into its ions, conducts electricity very well. This is Dr. B answering the question whether CuNO32 is an electrolyte or a non-electrolyte. Copper two nitrate, that's a strong electrolyte. Thanks for watching.